All right, good morning, YouTube. I wanted to make a short video where I address a problem with the init A8, and this problem being the alignment of the z-axis lead screws right here. So I've seen a lot of videos where people print out brackets with bearings to align the z-axis lead screws. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing to do, but I'm saying that you should probably do this before attempting to print out the brackets. So this is a really simple and straightforward fix to do, and all you're going to really need is a ruler, a measure tape, a couple of zip ties, some lubricant, and the hex key for the couplers, and the filament holder frame is handy. And one more thing that I suggest you do is installing the Marlin software on the printer. The reason being that this allows you to move the axis separately, and that makes the alignment of the Z axis a lot easier. So next thing you want to do is raise the carriage up, then power off the printer and lower the carriage to some kind of a support. Here is where the filament holder frame becomes handy. When the carriage is supported, undo the screws holding the lead screws and remove them. Power up the printer again and move the z-axis to see if the couplers are properly aligned. If the couplers are not properly aligned, adjust them. I had to put small pieces of tape on each side of the coupler to make it fit snugly. After making sure that the couplers rotated in a straight line, I took a couple of zip ties and zip tied the carriage to the upper frame. After doing that, I measured the coupler's center hole distance, and then measured the carriage's counterpass distance. Now bear in mind that these distances should be equal. Now I'm going to pause the video right here and point out that when I first installed the extruder carriage, I installed the guide rods flush with the edge of the mount. Now it turns out that on my printer, if the rods are flush, the distance between the brass lead screw nuts was too wide. The correct distance to match the coupler center hole distance was achieved when the guide rods are poking out of the mount just a little bit. Now is a good time to grease the lead screw rods, at least on my printer, Putting some lubricant on the lead screws took away a lot of the noise. Now all that's left to do is putting the lead screws back on and tightening the couplers. After doing that, remove the support and don't forget to adjust the height so that the carriage is absolutely horizontal. Now there shouldn't be any resistance or extra noise when moving the carriage. Alright guys, thanks for watching and hope this video was helpful. And here in the end I wanted to show you a short preview of a robot arm that I'm designing right now. So this is a 6 degrees of freedom robot arm that uses NEMA stepper motors and an Arduino Omega for control. And if there's anyone interested in seeing a like a build lock video or something like that, leave me a comment down below and I might do a few videos regarding this project.